I like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, or nor religious beliefs may be. I still greet you with the universe, the same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Today is Saturday, July the 13th, 2019, the time being about 11.45 a.m. I'm here in one of my favorite spots uh, where the geese is out. The weather is nice, even though the rivers and the lakes are up pretty high in other places. But right here, right now, at this particular time and moment, God is letting the peace be still. You see, there's hurricane and tornadoes going all around the globe. But for some reason right here, right now, God want me to be able to get a message out. He could send a tornado right now and say, sweep Raymond Lewis Ivy up off of this particular land. His time is up. You see, I bear witness that there's nothing or nobody, no deity, no human being, no male or female, no thing is worthy of worship nor praise but God. You see, I haven't met anybody or anything, any animal or any deity or anything or any idol on the face of this earth in the 61 plus years that God allowed me on this earth with excellent health. I haven't seen or met anything any source they claim to be God or claim to have so much power, I haven't seen any of them to be able to tell this water evaporate immediately. Says I. I haven't seen any source or any being or anything that was able to tell man your time is up. Leave this earth. I haven't seen it yet. I'm saying this for a reason because I, I've been doing some traveling to Chicago, Memphis, St. Louis. Even here in Charleston, Missouri, Sykes and in other places. And young people, young people, you hear me? Young people have asked me, if any of y'all wondering what highway this is, that is the highway that you call interstate or I-57. The cars and trucks, the vehicles is heading the way that you see this heading now. They're heading north. They're heading northbound. Those trucks that you see, they're heading southbound. The northbound lanes, the next state would be Illinois from here. Uh, 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 be Cairo, Illinois, which is about maybe 14 uh, miles away from here, 15, give or take. This highway here, they, they it stretches uh, maybe about another 14 or 10 miles, and in a turn, you'll be able to go into, uh, 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 in, uh, emerge into I-55 uh, going north towards St. Louis or I-55 south going towards Memphis. Or if you stay on this here stretch, this stretch would turn uh, about 15 miles from here. It'll turn up by Sykes in Missouri. It'll turn into uh, Highway 60, which will take you to Pop Poplar Bluff, Missouri, uh, take you to other little places. But uh, my reason for this video today is to say God sent me here in Charleston, Missouri over 23 years ago uh, for a reason. I, I get off course at times because God showed me, he gave me the instructions. He, he said, when I send you on a mission to do something, just like making this video today, when you make this video and say the things that I want you to say, then, you know, 
let the peace be still, get out of the way and let me do my thing. You see what I'm saying? Let me do my thing. When you uh, go up and, and uh, expose your enemies in Charleston, Missouri or any place else, when you have done that, I told you they will try to attack you, but no weapon formed against you would prosper. You see what I'm saying? No weapon. In other words, man can make all the weapons they want to make, but their weapons cannot supersede the shields and the weapons of God. Somebody out there hear me. You know, when we was in Sykes, I mean, uh, Chicago, Illinois, on uh, my mother's uh, 89th birthday, may she rest in peace in, in Chicago, Illinois on July the 2nd, 2019. We was at uh, David Buster's celebrating my mother's 89th birthday me and my oldest daughter with her twins five months pregnant with her twins i know the two boys they they'll remember it even though they wasn't born yet uh and and my two youngest grandchildrens and my two youngest daughters and one of our young generation cousins but it was a waitress there about 20 years old and when she seen me videoing uh, afterwards, when my children's got to go and play in their games, them and their cousins, and, and my grandchildren, my oldest daughter went to go somewhere. The female came back to the table. She said, excuse me, what were you doing? I said, I was videoing. I said, I have my own YouTube channel. And she asked me what it was. And immediately uh, she subscribed to my YouTube channel. And she asked me a question, do your YouTube channel speak about anything about God? Because I'm confused with Islam and Christianity. And all I can tell her was, I said, everybody that said that they are imam in Islam is not necessarily imam. I said, you have to get the Quran, the guidance of the Muslims. Muslim is one who submit themselves to God. Christian is one who uh, wants or, or tries or scribe to be Christ-like. I told her, I'm no scholar, but I've been around long enough that men get behind the pulpit and they begin to make people think that they're God and they know everything, but they don't. When they get to talking like that, you need to read your Bible or read your Quran and it'll give you instructions. When they get to saying they God, then what you do is you show them something in nature that you know can't nobody but God change. You see them trees go by a big tree like that and tell that tree to release from them roots and go up in the air and come back down and set itself right back to where it was. Can't nobody do that but God. Man can't do it. Uh, these machines that man have, they can dig it up out the ground. But I guarantee you they can't put it right back into their roots. You see what I'm saying? All you got to do is you got to you got to use your mind just like you waiting on us. You taking taking our order. You had to learn how to do that. You do it in a unique way. <coughs> and I asked her did your tips that you have to share with other people? Because if she did, I wasn't going to give her a nice size tip because the other waitress wasn't waiting on me. She was waiting on me and my family. And she said she keep her own. I gave her a nice healthy tip. And then when I paid for our bill, I told her to keep the change. And then I say, you know, my YouTube channel has a lot of things on it. Sometimes you will, you will see me talking in a way that some people seem to be fearful of it. But people that grew up with me and when you learn to know me, you will know that I won't harm anybody or anything. But I will protect myself when the time comes. When you read in the Bible, the Bible tells you in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, the verses one through eight, that's a time and a place for everything up under that sun. 
You see that sun? Up under that sun, S-U-N, he on earth. You see, in the wintertime, these geese, they don't be out here because it's too cold. They have enough sense they fly to the south. Or anywhere where it's warm. You see, human beings is the only one. You look, look at these trucks. These trucks, they are going in according to what God will is. Is they putting their feet on the accelerator if they have clutches or their automatics. They're putting it in the right gear. They're not going backwards on 57 North. They're not by going backwards or on the other side going in the wrong direction. They're going in the right direction. See, all human beings is not out of accord with God. Just some. You know, look at the White House, for instance. You, you have, I think, uh, uh, 435 state representatives. That's the lower house, I believe. And then the upper house, I think you have 100 senators. Or at least it used to be 100 senators. Two for each state. Now, you have the, uh, the Republicans and Democrats. If you look and see, they act, most of them act worse than game bangers out in the streets. It's a war now, now with the Democrats. If it was any type of harmony, you wouldn't have 30 or 40 individuals when it's time to run for a uh, uh, president. You wouldn't have 30 or 40 people uh, gathering up. Before it even time, when one president come in, before even a year done passed, they would come to the conclusion, who gonna do it? It's just like a normal family, a stable family, a mother and father raising children. It's just like the White House. You see what I'm saying? If there's no stability in that house, the children's gonna be running wild. But I just wanna let them people that ask me that, let me tell you about this other young, this young guy. Uh, yesterday when I was uh, 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 in, in one of the supermarkets in Sykes, and I'm not gonna say which one, he's 18 years old. Me and him got to talking, and I told him about my YouTube channel and told him about I was from Chicago and I've been in, in Southeast Missouri for 23 years. You know, what he, he told me, he said, he said, I'm 18. He said, my mother said, if I can live to see 18 in St. Louis, I'm moving my child away from St. Louis because of the violence. And that's bad. You see what I'm saying? Mother have to move her child from a place that he was born and raised because of the violence. You see, something is wrong. Just like in the White House, something is wrong. It ain't Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not doing no drive-by shootings in the black neighborhoods in Chicago, Illinois, in any place else. It's blacks doing it. You see what I'm saying? You know, it ain't because of the white president. Uh, 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 Barack Obama was in there for eight years. He, he, was, he was in Chicago, him and his wife. You see what I'm saying? Living in Chicago. You follow what I'm saying? Did, talking about the things that was wrong in Chicago until he got elected president. Once he was out of there, you see what I'm saying? They done wrote books, which ain't no, no problem about it. They done made uh, uh, commercials. But see, their children is safe. The CIA is going to protect their children for the rest of their lives. But they're not protecting them black children that's getting killed. These black mothers and, and kids and elderly getting killed in Chicago and other places. You see what I'm saying? When you put somebody in there, make sure they stay to the guns. You see, the people can do anything. You know, I don't care if it's Donald Trump. I don't care if it's the richest to the poorest person on earth. Once they in that office, it's a way of getting them back out. That's if everybody feel the same way. You see what I'm saying? Now, you look at these floods in different places. You see how all these people get together when these floods and hurricanes come? But you ain't seeing nobody getting together in a unity with all this black on black crime. All some people say is, well, them the black people doing it. And this is not everybody. If the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. But you see, if it was a start of being a mass killing of white people, in different places like the suburbs, and, and I don't encourage it. But it'll be a different thing. You see what I'm saying? They know what they're doing. All you gotta do, look, when the police get killed anywhere, you see how they quick they find whoever killed the police. But when a black get killed, 
You follow what I'm saying? You barely get any attention. It's a murder trial going on right now. Uh, Congressman Danny Davis been in there, I think, for over 26, uh, uh, 26, uh, uh, voted in 26 times. I don't know how, how long, but he's been in Congress uh, for a long time in Chicago, Illinois. His grandson was killed. Now, even though he said he's not going to court, but you look and see 